here we are, day 67. Wonder what it's got in store for us today. I always think it's cruel to do maths questions about food, especially in exams, but I'm afraid that's what we've got today. So we've got a question about sweets. So we've got these sweets called fruit pascals, and they're triangular sweets in the shape of a prism. So that just means they've got the same cross section all the way through. As you can see from the picture, uh, it's actually going to be an equilateral triangle of side centimetre one, uh, sorry, side length one centimetre, and the depth is also a centimetre. So the, the shape is a triangle all the way through, like a Toblerone box. Um, but we've got each side being one centimetre and the depth is also one centimetre. So your job now is to pack those sweets into a hexagonal box of side length three centimetres and depth five centimetres. And you're, you've got a slightly trickier job because they've split this hexagonal box into six triangles using some triangular dividers. You might even want to draw yourself a picture so you can visualise the box. So the question is, how many sweets could you fit in? And for part B, we've still got these fruit pascals and uh, they're triangular sweets in the shape of a prism. And the cross section is an equilateral triangle with a depth of one and a side length of one centimetre. So we're dealing with exactly the same sweets. How many sweets could be packed into a hexagonal box of side four centimetres and depth two centimetres, which has six triangular dividers? So now they've changed the dimensions of the box, but they're asking the same question. How many sweets could they, could they get in the box? Send me your solutions. I really look forward to receiving them.